Hey guys, it's Pi, and it's that time again. The lore in Tradelands has finally taken off once again. Talks of new factions, the death of the Inyolan Emperor, and a possible coup from Halengard to take over the Nova Balreskin Islands. What an important time in the Tradelands world. This video will tell you everything that's going on in the community. The causes, the effects, what we can see in the next few days, if there will be possible game updates, what NAR has said, and also expert opinions from leaders of the Tradelands community, such as SNPR, the Pirate King, and his voice on this entire whole dilemma. Please note that there will be two parts to this series. The first part will be what happens before everything unfolds, which it's the night before everything is supposed to unfold, and this will probably be up the morning everything will unfold, for your reference. And part two will be what happens afterwards, seeing if we're right, making connections we didn't know earlier, and much more. This video will be divided into four parts. The first part will be what is happening now. The second part will be how can we connect this to earlier events, such as the Inyol and Coal Bill and all that, which we'll talk about later. And the third part will be the opinions of the people around the community. And the final part will be the conclusion and what we can think about to see in the next few days. Many of you would know that around late July, tensions started to rise between the powers of the Tradelands world. These would include, but are not limited to, Anyola, Berkland, Rishovia, and Whitecrest. Because of the time period Tradelands is in, and the whole idea of mercantil mer mercantilism which it stands for, these nations are always trying to find the excuses to kill each other. But one day ago, it wasn't a nation that was killed. Posted one day ago on the Tradelands Reddit, the announcement of Emperor Piao's death. Emperor Piao is the Emperor of Inyola. And this is very important because, quote, a nation mourns as the Piao dynasty comes to an end. His entire dynasty has come to an end. He does not have an heir to the throne. This is very important because Inyola is in a very sticky situation, especially with its neighboring countries, and we'll see this start to become a little bit more of an interlocking relationship with Whitecrest a little bit later. Continuing, quote, Earlier today, news reached Berkland that the Emperor of that Emperor Piao of the Inyolan Empire succumbed to a disease known as the Northern Cough. Now this is also going to be very important later down the line when we talk about what we happened in August in my last video of Inyola and the whole coal bill, which is possibly the cause of this cough. More into that later. Piao, having bore no children, left the Empire without an heir to the throne, like I mentioned earlier. The world can only wait and wonder what is next for Nyola. Very important right here, because we don't know who's going to take over for Nyola. And even though Nyola is an AI faction, and Nar is technically in control of it at all times, it can mean an agenda change, and a lot of action, or not, not action, but political action, not, not action as in a war, but political action, could come as a result to this whole development. As the regime changes, the agenda changes, everything changes, and Inyola has plenty of excuses to be attacking any of the nations that are played in the Tradelands world, Inyola being the world's biggest superpower. This is a very deadly threat. But even bigger than the em Emperor of Inyola dying, there was a message from the King of Whitecrest himself, haha ha, boom man, one, two, three, four, the King of Whitecrest sent a message to the envoys of Inyola, which are all stationed in Berkland. Berkland is where all of the um, political pro processes take place. It would be the um, UN building of Tradelands. So haha ha, boom boom sent this message on the Reddit less than 24 hours ago saying, quote, To the envoys of the Empire of Inyola and Berkland, Dear peoples of Inyola, And then he goes straight into the paragraph, Grammar mistakes, people, grammar mistakes, I thought we'd learn this in first, first grade. 
<clears throat> we recognize the hard loss that your people are facing. Though we've had a hostile relationship with your government and your recently dis departed emperor, we respected him as a man of power and a leader, and we can only assume the respect you held for him was an intensity beyond words. With his loss comes a time of change for you, and we wish this to be a time of change for us as well. Our past offenses against your great nation were committed by idiotic and power-thirsty kings. The days of such barbarism, is that, is that even a word, so I'm gonna look that up please, are gone, and our peoples are far more civilized and honorable, depending on who you ask. <clears throat> We recognize the actions of our past leaders as unacceptable and as a great offense to your nation. We, therefore, he's missing an E, once again, grammar mistakes, <clears throat> are willing to pay reparations for the damages that were caused, not only physical, but against the reputation of your good nation. We hope to move from our shaded past to a prosperous future of trade and peace. That's important. Whitecrest reaching out to Nyola for prosperity, trade, and peace. We appeal to your justice and your honor. Allow us to make amends so that we may be more forwards in these ever-changing times as peaceful neighbors. Once again, very important. Not only do they want to uh, create a trading um, complex, but they also want to create a peaceful, helpful, prosperous relationship. <clears throat> Let our spoils, our goods, and our treasures be open to your great empire, or to your tr great trade empire, so that you too may reap great rewards for trading in our nation. Let our nation represent a point of rest and welcome during a long voyage across the great sea. Not really sure if it's a great sea or not. I mean, you guys saw the map earlier. It's not really... It's not really a great sea. But, meh. We have felt the sting of war and loss. We beseech you, Aniola. Let us now sample the fruits of a new peace. We would be grateful for the honor of a meeting to discuss this further. Kind regards and condolences. Haha, <laughs> boom, man. One, two, three, four. King of Whitecrest. And if you remember what I said on my Inyolan video, I, I will reference it a lot because it's really important for laying the foundation. Like I said, more of what was talked in that video will be talked in um, part two, but it will be mostly more connections, less descriptions. The Tradelands world is a sort of democracy. Not a democracy where the people get to make the decisions for the country, but a democracy where the kings will come together in the world court and they'll decide you know between issues they cannot figure out themselves it's that sort of democracy and you know envoys and democracy and all these these different types of representation i don't think the people of whitecrest are very happy about coming into Nyola. those who died in the those who died in the invasion last year now, most of them would be happy for the trade and the environment and, you know, having, you know, Inyolan at their back, but I think there's going to be some tension between the Navy and possibly the other branches of the White Crest sort of hierarchy. How that's going to work, I don't know, but it seems realistic. Now for the main topic of the day. Halengard and the Nova Coop. Now, if you remember back during the Werner Expedition days at the beginning of the summer, back in... Heck, I think it even was before J June. Maybe it was May. But a very, very long time ago, we had the Werner Expedition, where people came in, the Verns came in, and took over um, Verdantine and made it into its own group, and Houndguard mercenaries came in, all that pizzazz. Ever since Verdantine was taken down, there have been talks of New Verdantia from former kings, ex-navy, all of that kind of stuff. And on my first account, my very, my very first account, I was a strict 
verdant teen citizen. I loved being a verd. I loved living with all the salt and everything. It was great. And you know, my account was deleted. I decided to go away with the pirate, have a little bit more freedom. That's beside the point. Now, will this whole coop create new Verdantia? I'll talk about that later. Sorry for keeping you waiting, but I have to keep these sort of structured or else we're jumping around the place. Now, in the message, Fabo Granuli, the Friar of Howlingard, I don't even know how it's pronounced, but the Friar of Howlingard, submitted less than 24 hours ago, almost at the exact same time that the King of Whitecrest sent in Yola the message we just read. He says, quote, Greetings, Tradelands. Friar Fabo here of the Howlingard Navy. For months we struggled under the control of Nova Bauresca with no assistance. Pirates invaded us, and only then did Nova move to offer aid. Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. We freed ourselves from the pirate rule, and Nova declared their intentions to control us again. Kagaros has not removed this declaration, and so today I, as Friar of Halengard, declare my support of the coup to dethrone Kagaros. Kagaros is the Nova King. We'll be assisting the group so, and oppose any who support the tyranny that Kagaros imposes on this faction and his relations with others. One person came up to me in particular and helped explain this entire situation. They wish to remain anom anonymous, but you know who you are, and thank you for helping me clear this all up before I made a video. So the coop, it's pretty much a group of BBB and Verdantine Navy veterans that are going to overthrow Kagaros and put in a new leader. They said Kagaros is lazy and active, etc. Which is supported by a lot of the pirates community. More of that in the community response of part 3. Yes, I remember this. Now here's the kicker. They are not bringing Bird back. That's been made apparent and even confirmed by SNPR himself that Verd will not be coming back. Nar hasn't said much. More on that in part 3. Moving on. They are simply restoring the Navy to a stronger and more active state, similar to Verd's. Once again, a lot of support in the pirate community about this. Talk about that in part 3 a little bit more. At this point in time, Whitecrest is not going to interfere with the coup. Remember that Whitecrest is not going to interfere with the coup. But if pirates do support the coup in ways of battle, Whitecrest will join in. Think about that. This is where the pirates are sandwiched. You see, we've been helping Halengard in the past, and although. You know, Howland Guard shoots at us nowadays a lot, a lot more than they shoot Nova with, but they still shoot Nova, and we've been, we've been allies in the past, and especially under the, well, not really allies, but o occupied, I remember that, EFT, <laughs> we occupied, pirates occupied Howland Guard, and we launched defenses, uh, offensives from there, so there's been relations with that in the past. This is in very very important because Whitecrest is going over and saying hi to Inyola and while the pirates sit down around and do nothing about all this which we're pirates and once again mentioned this in part 3 but a lot of pirates have said that they will try to do nothing I don't know what I'm going to do at this point in time. Once again, more on that in part part three. But if pirates do support the coup in ways of battle, Whitecrest will join in. If Whitecrest brings in Inyola, it's going to be heck everywhere. Once again, this is, is the age of mercantilism. Everyone wants everyone else dead. Everyone has excuses to kill everyone else. And if your two enemies, in this case, Houndingard and Nova, which are enemies of Whitecrest, because everyone's an enemy, let's face it. 
Why would you help your enemy fight your enemy? Whitecrest wants to sit around and watch their enemies destroy each other, which we don't know how Halengard will face the Nova Navy or how uh, Nova will face the Halengard Navy. We don't know that. But whatever it is, Whitecrest is going to stay out of it unless the pirates get involved. Why? Because this is possibly for the improvement of Whitecrest's image to Aniola. Whitecrest does not want to look bad standing around while pirates help overthrow government. Like I said, possibly for the whole Aniola image that they're trying to sell. At this point in time, Halengard is also going to support the rebels as they have a common hatred for the government. A coup is inbound! Nova Valreska is about to get new management. Very important. This could be the invasion of Poland of trade lands. Oh dear, looks like I'm out of uh, trade lands footage. This video is going on a little bit longer than I hoped it would. I'm going to try to keep it under 25 minutes, of course you'll know, but um... Here's some footage of different uh, Papers, Please style games in Roblox. It will be a play around later. Here's just, uh, it, it's the audio that really matters. It's really funny. Let's continue talking about Neola and less about what's going on in the background. Now, if you remember back to the first instance I mentioned way back at the beginning of this episode about everything that happened in late June, early August, there was a coal bill that was proposed by Inyola. I, I, I'm sorry, not by Inyola, by a representative from Berkland, but possibly influenced by Inyola. But Inyola used some pretty shady tactics to try and get their vote across. Now, this coal bill was proposed in order to limit the consumption of coal usage in factories and in steamships, Prashovia being the most industrialized nation that we know, with heavy, heavy amount of ironclads and a heavy amount of factories and industrial power. It is possible that Niola used a uh, fake Berkland inside man to propose this bill, and then they use their shady tactics to try and get it across because Inola is not not very technically superior. They still use their serpents, which you know rickshaws. It's a pretty good ship. Serpent's a pretty good ship, but it has nothing on the Phoenix. And before the Clad got buffed, it had nothing on the Clad. What does that have to do with what's happened in the last 48 hours? Well, remember back to the Northern Cough that caused the Emperor of Inola to die. Northern cough. When industrialization with coal, it usually produces a lot of carbon dioxide, a lot of pollution, and it's very, very hard to breathe. And it's possible that pollution from Prashovia could have actually killed the Emperor of Inola via manslaughter. Now the problem with this is that when you look at the Treylands map, Inola is way to the far east, and Prashovia is way to the far west. So the cough wouldn't necessarily be northern unless if there's some sort of super big Coriolis wind effect thing going on, which is probably not the case. As you just saw there, everyone exploded in uh, Papers, Please. That was, that, that was pretty good right there. Game lags for another 10 seconds. You'll be able to look at it. But, you know, it's, it's, these are the kinds of things that, you know, these kinds of lore and things these countries propose. It makes trade lands a great thing. Moving on to our next point. Mentioned earlier, but I'll briefly go over it again. Whitecrest was invaded by Neola last year. That's why the fort at Fenwick, or... No, it, it's it's a big chunk of concrete, but it once served as uh, a fort for Neola. That's what that big chunk of concrete at Fenwick is. So there's been um, conflict between Whitecrest and Neola in the past. Now, specifically talking about conflicts and wars, at the time of the Coal Bill, that was the time when Halengard was occupied by the pirates, and it's possible that it's possible that Halengard is not just trying to solidify their place or 
make a coup of Nova. They're perhaps just trying to defend themselves from the pirates and make themselves just stronger and be able to fend them off because that's something they really haven't been able to do. Howland Guard is considered to be the weakest faction in the Trayvans world. That's just how it is. It's just the weakest faction because it's got the lowest amount of people. Island wasn't even there for half of the game. But yeah, it could be used as that, although there is no real evidence. It probably is a motive that they've gone over. Here we are in part 3, and I've pretty much already talked about everything, but to uh, elaborate on it a little bit more, part 3 is going to be on the community's reaction, specifically the pirate's reaction, and what we plan to do in the upcoming days, or actually it's, <laughs> it's less than uh, 18 hours between when the coop is supposed to start. I'll go over all that too. So a reminder. Whitecrest and the Pirates are to remain neutral during the coup because if the Pirates go and help them help Hallengard take over Nova in a coup then Whitecrest will come in and join the war. They don't want Pirates to be helping overthrowing governments. So as long as the Pirates stay neutral, Whitecrest will stay neutral. Whether or not this will happen, we don't know. But as far as the community goes, SNPR has called for the pirates to do nothing. He's the Pirate King, so whatever he says pretty much goes. Now, there have been a couple instances of people wanting to fight back and, you know, help Hound Guard and saying, Ah, no other combat loggers. Ah, we need to get them back for all this. This is our chance. But for the most part, it's been a pretty subtle, subtle reaction. I guess we'll just have to see tomorrow what happens. Tomorrow at 2 o'clock Eastern Time, confirmed by SNPR. Make sure you guys be on for that. It's gonna be a very important time. And as far as the coup goes, it's not a military... It's not a complete military takeover. Howland Guard will not be doing any annexing. They will simply put in a different leader. Hopefully one that is in their mind less neglectful. And, you know, if all goes well, this might even help the pirates with getting the navies active and then we'll have some more stuff to sink. Teehee. Once again, SNPR confirms New Verdantia will not be coming, at least not at this time. Although the movement, it's been gaining a little bit of momentum lately. And here's the big part. If you've listened to me ramble on for 23 minutes, you deserve to hear this. This is important. We've known about this for a week, but now's the time to tell it. NAR is planning to update the game. I've been looking back over screenshots, screenshots, trying to find screenshots, and I'll tell you what I remember and get the little bit of uh, screenshots that I could find because going back a week in Discord is just a big problem, but this update is going to completely change the way combat works, and there's going to be new faction reputation, which will be a way of, for example, if you're a pirate and you go trading, you lose reputation. And if you're a pirate and you kill somebody, you gain reputation. I forget exactly what rewards and punishments you get, although I do remember I uh, stood up about uh, the very harsh punishments, which hopefully will not be included. Of course, I don't know the details because I forgot and I can't I can't find the pictures to save my life. I really can't. But yeah, update has been announced. Also appearing in the update, there's going to be a conquerable island that can be conquered by any faction and this could give um, resources, experience, this new reputation. It could give anything. But at this point, really d we really don't know, but we're expecting a lot of uh, different combat changes, which Nar has announced. You know, he wants to uh, get this up again because combat's been a little bit lacking recently with, you know, not just the lack of navies, but the lack of just doing the same thing over and over and over again. And while coordinating with other people and sinking ships and taking their doubloons and their cargo and whatnot, while that's fun, it is a pretty repetitive process. And for somebody who's been doing, you know, trade lands ever since beta for almost two years, 
it, it does get repetitive at some points, and that's uh, partly why I have been a little bit hesitant to record trade lands or be, you know, 100% up to date with all of this 100% committed to OBW, which, you know, I, I am committed to OBW. I love hanging out with the guys, and e every time I join a game, I get 10 people from OBW join me. That's why I'm able to do so many play rounds. It's amazing. But yeah, trade lands hasn't been my number one focus lately. It's been, um... These play arounds and solidifying myself as a channel with, you know, different kinds of media. Of course, if you're not subscribed to Bytus Roblox and you're just here to get the information, alright, good for you, I respect that, but come sub to me, I want subs, cry, 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 cry. Sell out. Public. Advertisement. There is no shame. There is no shame. Well, you made it this far into the video, so you reserve some kind of reward, so, um, good job. Good job for listening. Good job. We salute you. SNPR also says it's easier diplomatically if we stay out of it. One thing I should have mentioned earlier about SNPR, he's actually out right now. So, if there's something that happens with the coop, he might not be here to do with it, and, uh, if there's any effect from that, I'll tell you about it next part. And finally, why is Howlin and Nova, why are they not teaming up to attack the pirates? SNPR himself said it in pretty much the clearest words ever. Howlin hates Nova more. Couldn't be a better, better description. Great job right there. <laughs> Great job. We had a good laugh over that. Finally, for the very last part of this video, we'll be going over the possible outcomes and um, my personal predictions. Now, in terms of the White Crest and Yolen alliance, I don't think there'll ever be a military alliance, but I think there will be very, very strong trade connections. You know, and like I mentioned before, it's with the Navy and all of that. Uh, you know, you can't give away your past to being invaded. That's just, you know, that's not who you are. That wouldn't make you White Crest anymore. As for the coup, I think the coup will be successful, and they will be able to implement a new king into Nova. No idea who the new king is going to be. No idea who the candidate is going to be. It might be someone from Nova. It might be someone from New Verdantia quote, New Verdantia, might be someone from Howlingard, it could be literally anyone, but I have no clue of names, and I have no clue what faction, what their agenda is going to be, I just know that whatever it is, Nar is trying to get the navies more active, which is a good thing for pirates, good thing for this channel, because it gives us more stuff to sink. And now we're at a crossroads, we're at a crossroads where, do the pirates help Howlingard? take over Nova, or do pirates sit back, and does Whitecrest sit back along with it? This is possibly the biggest question of the coup. It is will the pirates help out a faction, and will Whitecrest come in? And we don't know that for certain, that's why there's going to be two parts to this whole thing. Well, I can say that, or predict, that if the pirates don't get involved, I think that this whole engagement will be over quickly. Howling Guard will just get in, get out, put in their guy, and the navy will come back, and then the pirates are going to fight the navies, and possibly going to be a joint war between Howling Guard and Nova against the pirates, which I don't think we'd have too big of a problem with that, although, the more I think about it, um... <laughs> Actually, it sounds quite horrifying for people to join a new upstart navy. Yeah, um, the new Nova Navy probably going to get a lot of attention. But I think that's just going to be it, and that uh, sort of engagement will just end pretty much right there. However, if the pirates do attack and Whitecrest gets in, it is possible, unlikely, but possible that Enyola would come to the help. Like like I s predicted earlier, I don't think that it's going to be a really strict military alliance. Just a um, trade 
you know, trade emphasis for, you know, and Yola and all that, all that jazz. But if they do, I mean, it would be a way to get Inyola into the game. We don't know what Inyola is going to do because their dynasty just ended. You know, regime change. They could become fascist for all we know. Once again, that's why I need to make a part two to this video because there's just too many questions I can't answer now. And too many things that people need to be aware of before those questions are answered. Also, what will the world court do about this whole thing? If Whitecrest gets involved and Nyola gets involved, it could possibly be a world war. Like I, I mentioned earlier that this could be the invasion of Poland, of trade lands, because it's really that kind of, you know, world scale where the superpower, we don't even know what they're going to do. We don't know what Nyola's going to do. We have no clue what Nyola's going to do. And Nyola, and Nyola, and Nyola, and Nyola, and Nyola, I've said it enough times in this segment. Whatever Nyola does will change the outcome of Trade Lands, and it will change this expected update about the update. There have been um, updates that have been not um, confirmed, but thought to be had, and then delayed and missed and whatnot. But that leads me to another point where I mentioned this briefly in the um, Inola video. Inola has a secret weapon. We don't know what it is, but Nar said it himself. Inola has some sort of secret weapon, possibly. Will they use this? We don't know. Think of the um, think of the special weapon as a nuclear bomb. And heck, this. <laughs> well, we've <laughs> we're getting into alternate hist history now with trade lands. The whole um, last war over the coal bill thing. That was like Spain, America, and the Philippines. And now this could be, you know, World War II ending with dropping of atomic bombs, which atomic bombs have been dropped in trade lands over Nova because NAR's on this server. I was trying to get my group. Oh, my group was trying to get my group official. And NAR dropped a bomb over Nova because he wanted to. He wouldn't really talk to me. Now I'm just talking really fast. I mean, I'm just talking really fast. I'm not even trying to convey a point or anything. I think I'm going to run out of breath. So <gasps> I think I'm just going to stop talking here. So many unanswered questions. Alright, so I'm going to finish editing this um, whole video. I'm going to make a nice thumbnail for it, because that's something I wish I had made for the Inola video. Except I didn't have a good um, thing now. I, got, I use GIMP for thumbnails, that's beside the point. We don't know what's going to happen. Pi's probably not going to sleep very well tonight, thinking about all of this and all of these loose ends. But please, if you have any suggestions... Or if you need to correct me on something, please comment down below and I'll fix it. I'll annotate it in or I'll include it in the second part. As always, leave a like if it really helps out. Subscribe if you've not yet subscribed. And see you guys pr probably tomorrow because <laughs> that's when all this is going to unfold.